Hello guys and welcome to our back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Anna. So today I decided to do the Kim Kardashian West gala makeup look and I actually really like how this look turned out and I feel like even though I was very limited with the glitters, I felt like I still tried my best and I actually really like how this makeup look turned out and I know you guys have seen like so many of these already. I've personally seen like five videos of this already but I really wanted to give it a shot and to see if I could recreate this and I actually recreated this look the other day. I actually posted it on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it will be inserted here. And yeah, I actually really liked how the light came out because it's really neutral on the top and it's really, really smoky on the bottom. And I really, really like how this makeup look turned out. And if you guys want to learn how to get this makeup look, and then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyelids off camera. And if you guys hear like noises or something, it is Mother's Day today. So that's why there's a lot of noises going on downstairs because because my mom and my stepdad are actually cooking to be chill to make for later so yeah sorry about the noises and the baby noise from the fire alarms per usual. so i'm gonna go in with a lot of eyeshadows today once again because since we are recreating that kim kardashian west look i need several different eyeshadows and they all are in different palettes so i saw like five videos on this already of how people created their own Kim K looks and I thought they were all beyond gorgeous and they were all really good. The one that really like stuck out to me though was the one that Dizzy Perkins did. So if you guys want to see that one it will be linked down below. So I'm just going to be following what she did, the steps that she used or such. And so without further ado I'm going to jump into this eyeshadow. So beforehand Desi does go in with a bronzer or neutral tone shade like a bronzer shade so I'm just gonna go in with this one from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit this one right here uh I forget what this one's called technically she just puts a bronzer shade in the crease since it is more warm about the crease and darker on the lower lash line so with that I'm gonna grab some on my Morphe brush you guys know that this brush is my absolute favorite and just starting to pack it in the inner corner and kind of bring it all the way up to the brow bone and then also the same way on the outer corner and just placing that right there and almost going up to the brow bone and i look at this way once again i have my mirror there so, so you're just gonna place that in there and kind of blend it towards the lid but not really, you're mostly blending it upwards and into the brows, kind of. Just to give that illusion that we have a bigger crease than I actually do. Since my eyes are very hooded, my crease is somewhat un invisible, so that's why. With this, she kind of left the middle more bare until we're actually satisfied with the color that we have on our lid so far on our crease and then we could go ahead and just blend it ever so lightly in the middle but I'm just gonna go over it a little more now that I have the pigmentation on my eye that I actually want I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly go over right there closest to my brow bone as possible without actually going full onto my eyebrow you can see like i'm just touching it ever so lightly i put my fingers all the way to the end of the brush so that that way it has the lightest lightest touch and i'm not going in with any more product and i'm going in with the dazzy xk frankation palette i'm gonna take girl bye and churro just to deepen that crease up a tad bit more and with this i'm actually not gonna go as high all the way up to the brow bone as as the other shade was however i am going pretty high up just so that way i can give the illusion that i have a, a more wider crease than i actually do have and then with the inner part i'm gonna do the same thing and kind of bring it up almost to where I have the other one which is all the way up here but closer over here just so that way it's not fully taking from that transition shade and 
As you can see, once again, I'm leaving this naked and bare. That's because Kim K's eyeshadow, it seems like it goes all the way, like even beyond her crease. So you want to leave that naked, but also blend it a little bit in, but not so much that you can actually tell that there's eyeshadow in the middle. And then just bring it closer to kind of like where you contour your nose in there and just bring it in more in there. And then just blend it out a little more. And now that that's done, I'm just gonna go over it and kind of connect it ever so lightly. And then with a peasant brush like this, this is the Morphe M149, which I'm gonna go in with basic. So this one right here, cause it's light. And I'm just gonna go in with that. And then just kind of outline where I want the glitter part to go or the shimmery part. I actually don't have any glitters, so that kind of sucks for me. And I'm kind of gonna go diagonal all the way up here. Diagonal, cause it does look like Kim K's makeup goes like in the center here but then goes all the way to the crease and kind of goes in the diagonal so desi does this just to really guide where her shimmers and glitters are gonna go i'm just gonna go in with shimmers because i've mentioned before i actually don't have any glitter i'm actually gonna go in with naked from the daisy marquez and bh cosmetics palette Kind of tap that off and kind of blend it in just because I feel like uh, basic is more uh, pinky and I feel as a naked is more lighter than a, than a pink is since it is a little more peach and yellow undertone to it. All right, so now that that's done, we are ready to place eyeshadows. We're ready to place the shimmery shades and such. So I'm first going to go in with Lust, which is the shade right here. And I'm going to go in with kind of a flat brush just to really pack it on. I'm not going to go super intense with these. I am just going to go and just pat it in and just lightly dust it on to my eyelid where that spotlight's going to go. As you can see, it gives like a nice little sheen to it. And I'm just actually going to wet my brush a little bit. I'm going to go back in with that less shade and kind of pat it more. So it could kind of look a little more vibrant and actually like kind of like bam in your face. Like it kind of gives the illusion that we have like metallic glitter or something. And now I'm going to go in with Icy, which is this bright white from the Daisy Marquez palette and kind of just go like that, not really focusing it so much, like how I do with the lid shade, but I'm kind of just patting that all around this eye. Not really focusing that anywhere. Kind of blending it out with my finger, just some places that I think I kind of messed up in. <laughs> And now to actually put the glitter, I'm actually going to go in with Just a Kiss from the Frankation palette and just place it ever so lightly, like just dabbing it to areas I want glitter. So just right there. But as you can see, it gives you like a subtle like a glitter effect, kind of wettish and I feel like that's what Kim K was going for. It kind of has more gold to it but I feel like it looks good because we did add the icy color underneath. So I feel like it shows up more white than anything. All right, so now that that's done, I'm actually gonna go in with some black eyeliner and this is the e.l.f. Um, pen liner in the shade black. And I'm just gonna do a line and then blend it out with some black eyeshadow. I am now going in with Matter, which is this black, um, this black shade, and just tapping off the excess and just kind of smoking out that lash line since Kim Kardashian West does seem to have like a nice smoked out lash line. 
with black you really need to be careful because one mess up and you're done so i'm just gonna curl my lashes real quick and then just gonna go with some mascara And with lashes today, all I have is my Kiss Memory Lemon Lashes, which sucks. I just have to go and buy new lashes. I've just been too lazy to go because my Walmart is really, really scary when you walk in. And I feel like Target and TDS are really expensive there, so I like to go to Walmart. But my Walmart is really, really scary, and I get scared to go. So that's why I haven't bought any lashes, but I will soon. Hopefully, I'll have more. And so yeah, I'm just going to pop on some lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we're done with that, I'm gonna move into the skin and I'm gonna use my Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I recently started mixing this also with my foundation because my skin has been very, very dry as of lately. So I've been liking to do that and I feel like it works really, really good with that foundation. And I like to put this all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. pour this face primer as always to really fill in my pores that I have right here. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Water Priming Spray. And then with that, I'm going to go with my fancy fan and just kind of make sure that that's dry. While that's actually setting into my skin, I'm going to go in with my Becca first light like, priming filter and put some in the back of my hand like that much and then I'm gonna go in with my covergirl uh true blend matte me foundation in the shade uh m50 which is soft tan and just mix them together like this and then get a concealer brush like this and mix it together and it actually gives it a dewy finish rather than being more matte it does kind of take away some of that coverage but as long as i build it up i think i'm fine and today i'm gonna go in with my foundation brush kim k actually does have a really flawless face as i mentioned before the handle did come up from this brush but i don't mind it it's not a big deal to me because i still really like this brush so i'm just gonna start off by dotting this product all over and since I did go in with that, that primer, since it's a pretty much a dewy primer, I don't have to work in sections and I don't have to be really quick with it. And of course, I'm just going to make sure to get around my eyebrows. Just to make sure that I don't put more foundation over this. I don't act as the guideline for when I fill in my eyebrows. So now I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and just pat it into my skin instead of like really swerving it around just to give more coverage to my face. Up here, I don't really care because I don't really have like anything on my forehead. So right here, I could just like swirl around and it'll still look good, you know? And then whatever is left on my foundation brush, I'm just going to go over with my nose because my nose tends to cake up a lot. So it's like I'd rather not have that today. And then as always, going in with my small little brush and kind of go over wherever I want more coverage. Since Kim Kardashian does have a really light under eye and has kind of full coverage underneath, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 260, which is like kind of like when I don't want like really super highlighted under eye or just spot concealer, but I'm also gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer in the shade medium sand since she does have a really light face but i also want my face to feel balanced you know and then gonna go in with my elf total makeup sponge and just kind of really put that all over my face Now I'm actually gonna go in with my Lux Pro powder in the shade Banana because she does have a really bright under eye. So I'm just gonna go in with like about this much. Get my damp sponge and just set it first. I'm 
and then I'll bake a little bit. With my Wet n Wild powder in the shade Warm 10 or Warm Bang, yeah, Warm 10, I think. And just set the rest of my skin. And I'm actually gonna go back in with my foundation brush and bring this lower to my neck just the way I match all of them. And then go back in with that powder and kind of bring it all the way down to my neck. But I go in with this brush and just wipe this powder away, set it and sweep away. And then with that, I'm gonna go in with this smaller brush, go in back with that Wet n Wild powder and wherever I want more full coverage, I'm just gonna go over that. Since Kim K is really bronzed, I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild contouring palette and just go in with a bron the bronzer shade from the Dulce de Leche palette and just really contour and just really bronze up the skin because her skin is so bronzed all the time and really really contoured so i feel like since we're gonna go with in with that look like we have to be super bronzed and super contoured to the max and then going in with my angle brush and taking Fawn, which is this shade in the middle, and contouring my cheekbones a lot. And then just some of my forehead, just to really be chiseled, you know? And also my jawline, because as I said, she really is super contoured. And you know, we just want to be as contoured as she is. And then I'm just gonna go in with my nose contour really, really quickly. And just put it in here, blend it as I go in. First, I like to start off with just like packing it in and then just blend it throughout the way. Kind of like blending out eyeshadow. Kind of almost connecting into the eyeshadow that we have blended in. With that, I'm going to get that same powder, go underneath my contour, and not really connect it. I'm just putting it out here, just because I saw from Karen from I Love Saturday's video that she doesn't really connect it because she doesn't really like that look. And ever since I stopped connecting it, I have seen a really big difference with my cheekbones, and I feel like it looks more natural. I feel like it looks a lot better. With a little bit of powder, I'm going to take this brush like this, pack, top off the excess, I just really put it into where I have contoured my nose just to really make sure that my nose contour is really really sharp and then with whatever's left over which I kind of dissed it off I'm just gonna go over my nose one more time just because I like I don't really like to bake on my around my nose because it does tend to separate no matter what I do, it does tend to separate. I don't know why. If you guys have any suggestions with that, please let me know. So I'm just patting that in and then kind of going all the harsh edges where I have contoured. As you can see, it's looking more natural on this side than how it is on the other side. I like to just go over that ever so slightly. And then with that, I'm just gonna take off this big edge. All this big edge, cause Kim Kardashian is a snatch to the max all the time. And then I'm gonna go back in with the banana powder and just bring it down to my neck just so, cause I did bake with it as well and I don't want it to be super different. Now that all the powders are done, I'm gonna go in and finish up my eyebrows. I made my eyebrows more full, like I filled in my eyebrows a lot more because I feel like Kim Kardashian has a more full brow and such, so that's why I went with the more full brow. So now it's time to go in with the lower lash line. I'm going to do a black waterline, which I haven't done a black waterline in forever, which was my first time during the week when I recreated this look just to make sure that I had it down. 
And then before that, I'm actually going to set it because my waterline tends to run a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with that matter shadow from the Daisy Marquez palette and just kind of set it. Going back in with this pencil brush, I'm actually going to take the shade Coco and just actually run this on my lower lash line just before I go in with the, with the black. Her lower lash line is a lot more smokier than at the top one. So I feel like going in with the brown first and then going in with the black will really just look a lot more smokier. And then going back in with this really small definer brush, I'm going to go back in with matter, which is that black, and just really concentrate it on my lower lash line. Really, really close to my, my waterline. And I'm going to go back in with this pencil brush and just kind of smoke it out even further. Now going in with Churro and Girl By, these two shades, and I'm just going to smoke that lower lash line a lot more and actually kind of connect them to the top. And then with this other side, I'm actually going to blend it out a lot more just to make the blending look really, really seamless. <laughs> I think I like my lower lash line better today than how I did it that one day. Now that that's done, I'm actually going to go in with some blush. And I'm going to go in with this dark one right here. Just because I feel like that's the one that she used. And I kind of mix it in with this pink one over here. These two. And it does look like her, her blush went towards her contour. So that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to go in with highlight and the one that Desi actually used for her video is Fuego so that's the one I'm going to be using today and just hit it right here. She doesn't really go all the way to her cheekbones like all the way in and I noticed that too so I was like oh I should probably just leave it like this too. Now with that same pencil brush that I just cleaned, I'm going to go over my nose, which is my nose, Cupid's bow, actually with my Cupid's bow I'm going to go with this big one because I've been doing it with this big one and it actually looks nicer. Oh, so good. I'm now going in with the bridge of my Cupid's bow, just right there. And then just ever so slightly on the inner corners. I know it's basically against the law to do this, but I'm actually going to go in with this Becca Moonstone uh, liquid highlighter. Grab some of my finger and work it in beforehand and then just kind of put it on the tops of my cheekbones and I know I put powder beforehand but you know I really like how this looked the other day so that's what I'm doing now and just some on the top of my eyebrow there we go before we move it into the lips I'm actually gonna go ahead and just finish my chest and I did put oil, oils on it I did hydrate it before and now I'm just going to go back in with my Anastasia of Everybody Everybody Hills Contour Kit and just kind of mix all the three colors together and just, you know, create big Kim Kardashian boobs, you know? I'm actually going to go in with Chasing the Sun, also from the Desi X Katie collection, and just bring it down in the center and then bring it up. Now she was glowing, like glowing so hard. 
Like even on her neck, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just bring it down to my neck. And then also some right here. And then also some right there. Maybe it's because here's scratching. My dog's actually scratching himself right now. Now we can move on to lips. So I'm gonna use this dark lip liner that I have. I have no idea where it's from. And just start lining my lips. And then kind of fill it in towards the center. And now I'm gonna go in with more creamer please and place that in the center of my lips. And just blend that out. Before I actually finish off the whole makeup look, let me just go ahead and put some lower lash mascara. And I finally have some soap to set my eyebrows, finally, because it was a really long time without setting my eyebrows with soap. I'm putting this a little more upwards just so that way it looks more like Kim Kardashian's eyebrows, but also kind of blending that over here and then just kind of stick it over here. And then I'm going to go back in with my Wet n Wild uh, Rose Water Priming Spray. Kind of block out my eyes because I feel like when I set my eyes too, they tend to crease upwards and plus I just had to put um, mascara so they, they tend to transfer so I'm just going to go with my Manali Make It Last Setting Spray which is completely almost done. And now it's done. I'm just going to let that set into my skin and then I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So this is the final result guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually had so much fun recreating this makeup look and you guys could even do some more like tricks on what you want this look to come out to. Of course everyone's gonna have their own representation of this makeup look and that's why I really like this because it's like I watched five videos but yet I took my own spin on it as well and came up with the look and uh, I also had to work with what I got so I really really like how this makeup look turned out. I hope you guys did too. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in a few days in my next video. Bye.